Hello everyone, my name is James and this is my first YouTube video. I'm going to be doing um, cooking shows on different recipes and stuff that um, are usually pretty easy. Uh, maybe you won't have the, all the ingredients for it. Um, maybe you do, maybe you have other ones, and we'll talk about that later as well. But this is in real time. Uh, everything that I do, um, except for setting everything out, um, is how long it took to do. Um, you want to um, add a few more minutes on to some of these things. Um, like I've, today we're making tater tot casserole, and I have already washed and prepped the <clears throat> mushrooms, except for chopping them up. So we'll get started with... Starting with our meat, I have a couple of pounds of ground. Um, I like to use 8515. Um, I think it's the most flavorful for what we're going to do. And there's not a whole lot of grease. Get that going. Now, since this is already going on about medium heat, um, we're going to start chopping up our mushrooms as soon as I wash my hands. Okay, so we're going to chop up these um, extra portobello and white mushrooms up just a little bit because we're going to make our tie casserole a little bit more more fuller more more meat more veggies um, as far as veggies go it's only going to have mushrooms so it'd be really nice this uh, if you want a uh, a healthy option then this is not the one for you this is a comfort food this is for on a snow day like today we have and it's going to be it's going to be great all these videos are going to be the exact time it takes to to make it so if you're looking for one of those one minute videos showing you how to do everything like on facebook or whatever that's not this one so we have our hamburger going right now We're going to go ahead and heavily season it for now. I'm using some kosher salt. Just some regular ground black pepper. About, eh, that much. I'm going to say, of each time. Half a handful and then sprinkle as you like. With different things like this, you'll want to taste it as you go to make sure it's the flavor that you want. Don't go crazy and add too much to begin with because it might be too much. Once you add too much then you won't be able to take it out. So I'm also going to add into here some minced garlic. About if you're using a spoon I'm going to guess maybe about two and a half spoonfuls to that for now. Maybe add more later or something as this goes. Now I'm using a um, regular skillet. I'm not using a, a non-stick. Um, this one here I really like because I can also put it in the oven up to 450 degrees. And with future recipes, I'm going to be using that quite a bit. So, you got that going. If you use a non-stick, hey, that's cool. If you want to use ground turkey, fine. However you want to do it. But this one's going to be 80-15 ground beef, mushrooms, mushroom, um, cream mushroom soup. We also have some of these here going, some Velveeta mini blocks and uh, some Velveeta cheese and we have some shredded cheese and uh, we're going to be using some bacon bits in this one too. Um, I was going to do like cooking just regular bacon too but this is going to be fine. It's, the, it's not bacon bits like the crunchy ones, this is like real bacon pieces and they're already cooked and everything so once we get this one going we're going to switch over to the mushrooms as well. Now, if you want to um, not pre-cook your mushrooms, you don't have to, but 
I think this is what makes it a whole lot better um, is if you cook them in there as well. So, other thing with mushrooms, um, if you don't cook your mushrooms, if you just eat them raw, a lot of them have toxins and that sort of thing that are in there that um, are not so good for you. So I know a lot of people like to put them in their salads and whatever, but the, the best thing you could do is just make sure and wash and cook your mushrooms to make sure that you don't get sick. Um, from what I've read up on, especially a whole bunch of different kinds, is that uh, our bodies aren't made to process mushrooms. So there's that. So, while that's cooking, I'm going to give, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been married about 10 years. I have three beautiful daughters. Um, and right now, two of the three daughters are at the hospital with uh, my wife as a doctor's appointment. So, it's a little quieter right now because the youngest one is kind of taking a nap. So, we'll see how long she stays asleep for those two. And so... I may have to go get her and bring her in here. You never know. Anyway, so. Getting this going, this browning right now. Going pretty good. If you, uh. Have a fire stove, um, gas stove, um, usually cooks a little bit quicker, but this one's electric, so it takes a little extra time. So you have to factor that in for the time as well. Maybe subtract a few minutes if you have gas versus electric. Um, I went ahead and picked up uh, just a disposable pan. It's a, I want to say this is a oh, 9 by 8 pan, maybe? No, I don't know, whatever it is. It's just a standard size. The thing is with these also is um, easy cleanup, don't have to worry about dishes and that sort of thing. And if you're going to take it somewhere, great. They come with a plastic lid, so when it cools down, you can just Throw it into the uh, or leftovers or whatever into the um, refrigerator, that sort of thing. Take it places, whatever. Um, now, later on, what we're going to do is we go to do our potatoes. Okay, the, uh, the way it says to do it is preheat oven 450, and you bake for 12 minutes. Flip and another six to eight minutes. Not going to do that, obviously. The thing that's different about this is a lot of the tater tot casseroles that you use, or tater tot hot dish, however you want to say it, is that they do like a single layer. But I don't do that. I do multiple layers. So we're going to reduce our heat and do it a longer amount of time so that way it gets all the way done. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-cook or preheat this oven here for about 425, maybe a little bit less. And um, while that's preheating, we'll get this um, cooked up. Smelling pretty good. It looks like um, it's going to take a few more minutes for this to be all the way done. Now what I do is with this stuff is a lot of recipes will call for like, you know, however you want it. However it says to do it, um, I do a little different. Um, Mine, I heat, he cooked the hamburger up all the way, I'll strain it. I'll go ahead and I'll add my cream mushroom soup to it and let it get nice and hot. Um, I'll also throw in the bacon bits at the same time. But um, while that's going on, I'm going to cook these mushrooms too. Um, what I The original plan was to cook up some uh, bacon and then use the bacon grease to cook up the, uh, the mushrooms. But since I already have the pre-cooked bacon, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, use some butter and oil to, to cook up the mushrooms. Um, you can add as much as you want. I used um, the, the white and the portobello mushrooms. Um, you could add no mushrooms if you, if you don't even really like that much, whatever, but that's the thing about recipes is that uh, they don't have to be you know, exactly by the book um, for a lot of them. Now, obviously, if you're baking, you probably want to stick to what it is, but all the other sort of recipes and things like that you can add or subtract however you want to do it. Um, now, looks like I'm going to add a little bit more of this garlic to it. Another half spoonful or so. Make it nice and garlicky. Wait for that to get done and then we'll do a taste test see if we need a, a little extra salt and pepper. And when you add all these other ingredients to it, you're going to lose um, your saltiness or, or peppery taste as well. 
Um, but also take into account that your cheese is going to add some salt to it. Um, you might get some salt through your mushroom soup. Yep, a little bit. Oh, the rest of the family is here now. So it's going to be pretty crazy. Hi, honeys. How was the doctor? What? How was the doctor? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> you want to do a high temperature um, and then of course add your oils and stuff to it no, they'll they will water will come out of them and then they'll reabsorb so um, hi honey Daddy. come here yeah. oh. what look what I'm making this is hamburger and mushrooms and mushroom break um, I hate gravy. mushrooms you what I hate mushrooms you hate mushrooms I know. It's okay. I want that, Daddy. You want that? Yeah. What? No, put the bag in the kitchen. I want to do some of this. Wow. Yeah. Help a little bit. Oh, this? Yeah, this is Amber. You like this? Mm-hmm. I'll give you a little bit, okay? Once it's done, okay? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> boo. We got some soda. You got soda? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's just about done. We're gonna go ahead and add this uh, <laughs> over about over half a stick. <laughs> um, yes, and just a little bit, okay? Chloe, come on. Half a stick of butter. Um, when we uh, when it gets nice and hot, the butter will melt it. I'll do some more of this garlic. I'll do salt and pepper into there. Okay, hamburger is basically done. Maybe another minute or two more, and it'll be nice and all the way finished. Um, and then we'll taste it, see what we need to add, or that kind of thing, if we need to add anything. Now it looks like there'll be a lot of extra water in there, but that's when you need to cook a little bit longer so they can uh, reabsorb that liquid and stuff too. So. Daddy, sit down. 
don't worry about burping. What are you supposed to worry about? You're supposed to worry about your stomach. You're supposed to worry about your stomach. You're supposed to worry about your Don't forget to go ahead and like and share so everyone else can see what's going on. Maybe get some ideas, whatever. Leave a comment if you want. See if you have any suggestions. Also, if you feel like you would like to uh, donate, you can find me at uh, paypal.me slash jamesthecookguy. Um, anything is definitely appreciated. And I can make some... Uh, videos more often. <laughs> Chopping up a little bit more of these mushrooms. Got two packages, about medium size, I guess. See how these, because uh, the mushrooms are going to cook down quite a bit. And so we have quite a bit of this mushroom soup to go through as well. that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's cooking down, there's like a lot, quite a bit of liquid in there that wasn't there before. So, you'll know. Try to heat some more. Alright, we're looking at this ground beef. It's all done. Now, with this uh, 8515, there's not really a lot of grease in there, but we're still going to strain it nonetheless. Right now that it's all strained, you see we have quite a bit in there. So now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Um, cream mushroom soup. Oh, actually, I'm going to do the taste test first. See how it is. I'm not tasting it. Okay. This is really pretty good. Add just a little bit more because I'm going to lose some of that initial saltiness to it. Yeah, honey. You're missing the movie. What? I'm missing the movie. It's That's okay. A monster movie. A monster movie? Like, like you watched with doors with kids. Like, Daddy, this is about, like. It's okay, honey. I'm, I'm making some dinner. And the blue guy, my girl, like, just said it. Like a blue monster named Kitty. Are you doing this on Facebook or on YouTube? YouTube, babe. It's uh, it's not live. Oh. I have to wait to do live. <laughs> I can't find it. Yeah. You can find me also on Facebook on the page James the Cook Guy. Um, if you wanna. Check it out there, I'll post videos and pictures and that sort of thing over there. Okay, so we did a, for two, a little over two pounds of beef, um, we have one pound, 6.6 .6 ounces of mushroom uh, soup and 10.5. So, this might be just enough. We'll have to see if we get it all mixed in there and everything. Any other liquid to this? It's just straight up 
um, mushroom soup and beef. Now this one's looking pretty good. The consistency looks like almost like a, a really meaty sausage gravy, I guess. But um, that's what we're that's what we want right here. Okay. I'm gonna throw in these. One package of real bacon bits. Two and a half ounces. Do about half and then stir it up, see how it looks. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Great comfort food. I've reduced the heat on this too so it doesn't start to burn while um, the other stuff is still cooking. Um, oven should be preheated already. So. Mushroom's probably going to be a few more minutes on those. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot less liquid in there. Um, it's reabsorbing. We're going to taste them out and see how it is and we'll add them to our mixture. And you can see like this thing was pretty full and now there's not really a whole lot left. Um, so they, they do reduce quite a bit. So um, That's why I got extra just to be sure. So I'll cook up these ones too. Um, add them to the mixture and then build it and get her going. We have our... Uh, I went ahead and did instead of like a whole block I got these mini blocks. So that way, if I don't want to use all of it, I don't have to worry about it being put in the freezer or whatever for later. Now the other side of this, you get more cheesiness as this cheese sauce is going to definitely be uh, uh, quite a treat. Really rich, really hearty. And then, like all of them, they're going to have to have shredded cheese too, so that's going to go on... Um, in the layers, it's going to be in there. It's going to be nice and meaty and cheesy. Too salty, not too peppery. It's pretty nice, balanced. And what I'll do is I'll just take this. I won't strain it because I'll use this for the next batch as well. But just kind of roughly do it. Add roughly strain with the slotted spoon. Add. Yep. And if you need some extra butter or oil or something, pretty much any oil will be fine. Um, but I have still quite a quite a bit of the after doing that that it could be enough to, for this, but we'll see. might need a little extra butter to it. Now with butter, um, you can obviously do the, the cheap stuff. I wouldn't recommend it though. When you're, if you're going to go and do butter, do like actual real butter. Um, spend a little extra on there and get something real nice. Um, it's cold! Not it's cold? Are you cold? Well that's a wet towel. 
Do you have to find the dry one? One thing I really like to use um, is Kerrygold. They're definitely not a sponsor or anything, but uh, it's one I personally really enjoy using. Um, what are you talking about, Daddy? I'm talking to all the people. <laughs> Dad likes to talk to himself. Yes. I need to have a intelligent conversation sometimes. <laughs> Oh, and I think I forgot to add garlic to this one last time, so I'll go ahead and load it up a little bit, maybe another you know, spoonful and a half of minced garlic. Oh, yeah. Well, this one is starting to bubble a little bit, so um, it's really close to to being done, so I'll turn it down to really low, so we don't we don't want to burn it or anything. So, oh yeah, you see like kind of the chunks of mushroom that are in there. Um, can't really tell, but it's in there. The bacon's in there. Um, it's still nice and hot. Try a little taste. Fantastic. Now, if you don't want to add the bacon bits to it, go. This is fine. But this is just uh, something kind of thought up while I was getting the, the ingredients. I was like, oh, hey, what about adding bacon to it? So, that's what I'm going to do. Take your disposal pan. And go ahead and spray it so she doesn't stick too bad. I'm going to suspect this will maybe take about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. Um, we'll, we'll see. Um, the regular package says it should take about 20 minutes, I think. Yeah. 12 minutes and then flip another eight. So usually about 20 minutes. So figure they're going to have different layers. So we're going to have to wait the, the middle get hot. Which this being hot will speed up that process a bit too. So. Um, and again, it's personal preference. If you feel like you want to do it this way, whatever, that's cool. A lot of these call for veggies and that sort of thing. I've had different kinds. Mine's pretty simple. Meat, cheese, mushrooms, mushroom soup. And uh, this time, bacon. But that's, that's really it. Pretty simple. Um, you can get the, the lower quality of everything on here. You, know, you can get you know, the... Great value or whatever mushroom soup you can get, just uh, whatever shredded cheese. You only have to do like the extra cheese if you don't want to. You don't have to do whatever. You know, you don't want to put it. You don't have to put it in it. This is what makes it like pretty nice. Chloe, you want to try this? You want to try it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> now I got out this pan because I thought I um, wouldn't have enough room uh, for all this stuff with the, just this big skillet. But I do, so I'm not going to have to use this at all. So. Sometimes if you don't have one, I think this is four quarts. Yeah, four quarts um, for my skillet. Um, if you don't have one that big, that's okay. You could do a smaller amounts. Um, so it's all kind of like to your taste, however you want to do it. More salty, less salty, more cheesy, less cheesy. Whatever. This makes it really nice. 
do everything you want and don't want to do. So what I'll do is I'll take one of these cook uh, things, I'll wash it off real quick so I can cut up these chunks of cheese. I'm probably going to do one, one cube per layer, I'm going to guess. Maybe a little more. We'll have to see. Yeah, boy. These other mushrooms are just about done. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. This stuff here is, is ready to go. It's nice and hot. Doesn't have to get to a whatever degrees. It's just as long as it's hot. You all done? Oh, you're you're cold still. Here, come try this. stuff I was cooking earlier. Try it. You want to try it? Oh, no. Okay. Maybe later. Bye-bye, poopy pants. Did you call me poopy pants? No, you're poopy pants. You stop it, you poopy We strain it. We used all of our um, are you gonna watch the movie, Chloe, or are you uh, mushrooms. We don't have any more of those. This is not my movie. No, but then you can watch it. Yeah. Chloe. Hey there, pretty girl. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, that's quite a bit better. So two of the medium packages, about this big, for the mushrooms. Um, we did portobello and white mushrooms to. That seems to be really quite good. So, pretty good consistency. You can see like nice chunks of the mushrooms that are in there. Pre cooked too, so it'll be nice and flavorful. Hearty. Really good. Okay. We have our pan here. What we're going to do. We'll do it in layers. Stuff here, put in a real good. 
so you can cover the bottom. Okay, now we'll take our, so we have those in there, we'll take, Mom. cut up the cheese chunks a little Mom. bit. Somebody's testing. <laughs> wonder who it is. Mom. Somebody's testing. I'll roughly go in there, it'll be, oh yeah, one, one, uh, one chunk will be enough, or one cube will be enough. Now that'll also start to melt a little bit. These ones with the uh, tater tots, making um, or horizontal, one layer. Um, doesn't have to be like you know tater tot to tater tot. It's kind of just a base or whatever. As long as you have it, uh, you know, covering most of it, you should be good to go. Now, if you want to take the time and make it all layered out and everything, by all means, do that. But, it's not what we do. So do it roughly on here. Alright, so there we have our first layer. Now we have that all done. Over to our other cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Roughly on there. And we'll take our cheese sauce. And we'll just drizzle. Now it'll you know melt obviously and expand a little bit, so oh yeah, look at that. Pretty well on there. Um, now we're going to do our second layer. It'll be probably pretty high on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. And see, that seemed to be just enough mix to make two layers or if you want to do two casseroles or whatever then by all means do that too. Perfect. James, did you see your drink? Yes, thank you. Okay, spread around. Nice. Good. Look at that. Look at it. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes, it does. Can't see it? See ya? Well, come here. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Let me put some more tater tots on there like this. See? You want to do some? Oh, but you're going to help me put it in there, okay? And then you're going to help. Oh, wait, you can put, help me put the cheese on. You can wash your hands and stuff, okay? Okay. Have mom help you. You can put, help me put the cheese on there.
Go ahead and just do the cheese sauce. Yeah. What? The hands. Good job, honey. I'm almost <laughs> ready for you. Almost. Almost ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna put some shredded cheese on here, baby cakes. <laughs> what? What's that? Yep, hold on. I'm about ready for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Burka. I can see the. You can yeah. see this cheese? Okay, let me throw on these real quick and then we'll be ready. So the package I used for this one, which made plenty, was the 32 ounce or 2 pound It's like uh, a tower, bag. Daddy. Huh? It's like a tower. Oh, it's kind of a tower. It's a tower of potato, meat, cheese, goody goodness. I love those. You do? Uh-huh. Well, we'll see if you love them. Maybe get another, so another small package just to make sure it's really filled in. Kind of misses some space, but that's okay. Okay, come here. Gra grab the chair, honey. Can you go grab that chair, bring it here. Perfect. Okay, stand up here. Okay. Put your hand in, inside. Get some. And then sprinkle. Like this. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Like okay. that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. All right, now get down. Now I did make a mistake just now. Um, I added the shredded cheese before I cooked it and wanted to do that afterwards. So next time when you do it, um, add the shredded cheese afterwards. <laughs> so I'm going to get cleaned up a little bit and then we're going to chat for a while. Oh, Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Thank you. Something I meant to mention earlier too is when you take your your beef out of the refrigerator, wait 10, maybe 15 minutes just so that way it's not like really, really cold when you go to cook it. So that way it'll, it'll cook better. Faster, better, you know, whatever. Also, don't forget to like and share. We'll see some more videos going on. Um, I'll try to do one a week, um, possibly two, depending on what the dish is that I'm doing. Um, later, we're going to be doing some uh, things like a chicken supreme with uh, um, potatoes and carrots and mushrooms um, that are roasted. So. Oh yeah. If you like throwing a tip my way, you can go to 
paypal.me slash james the cook guy um, if you'd like to do that if not that's okay too this is all just for the fun and if you have other questions feel free to ask um, leave comments and I'll do my best to answer them as we go Now, something um, different you can do if you, if you really feel like it. Um, you can do it with um, turkey, ground turkey, or um, you can do uh, the one that I thought of that might be pretty good is if um, you take some chicken breasts and you cook those up and then you shred them and use that. Um, so this is something a little different. Some people like to like don't like to have so much beef, so chicken is pretty good. Turkey. Um, haven't really tried it with those though, the, so I can't give you a accurate account of how well they are, but I'm sure they turn out just fine, especially if you're gonna, you know, have it make it nice and cheesy or add veggies or whatever you want to do to it. Sometimes, um, if you really want to make it kind of like a more like a cheeseburger, you could add um, some diced onion in there or. Um, something I don't know how how good it would be like this but uh take some of your dill pickles and and dice them up and put them in there too so that way it's just like a cheeseburger you think like oh no hot pickles but most burgers or whatever the pickles are hot when you get it so I think it'd be just fine anyway so you can make a cheeseburger tear tot casserole good stuff What are you guys watching? Monsters Wicked. Monsters? Which one is it? Monsters Inc. <gasps> Monsters Inc. Oh my goodness. Mike Wazowski. That's my favorite. The girl, the girl stares the green guy and falls in the garbage can and puts that in his outfit. Yep. So. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Boo! Ah! <laughs> No, you'll have leftover sauce. You can either just go ahead and use it when you're done, or or you can. Um, oh, I'm gonna take that back out. Or you can just add more to it and that kind of thing. Or bag it up, put it in the fridge and that kind of thing. Have mac and cheese, add more cheese to it. Whatever. Pretty straightforward. Whatever you can do. Whatever. Turn up the temperature just a little bit, about um, about 440 or so. Um, there's less tater tots on the top than what there was going to be, so you won't have to cook nearly as long. It'll get heat will go through there a little better, and this stuff's hot enough anyway, so it'll it'll cook pretty quick. Um, we'll check it after maybe 20 minutes or so, and. Um, see how it is and if we need to go longer we'll go longer and stuff so oh go ahead and get the meat thermometer not because just to check the temperature but we see if it's hot um if it's up to like 160 or whatever then we'll definitely know that the uh tater tots and stuff are done and all that stuff in there so i have that ready um i'll make other videos later about um no this one's digital but about the uh, the regular um thermometers on how to calibrate them and that sort of thing because some people don't know and like me i just have like this thing here and um like I think a lot of people will end up using something like this but if you don't um we'll show you like how to do this the, the regular meat thermometer once i get one <laughs> Mm. 
So right now we're in southern Minnesota and we're still getting some snow. They canceled school today. So that's why they're, the children are here now. Um, it's about... It's about 2.30? Yeah. It's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. So it's 3 o'clock. Normally the kiddos would be gone. Um, normally I wouldn't be here, but I'm on vacation right now from work. So I'm able to make some videos in the middle of the week. <laughs> At the time I'd normally be there, so yeah. Err, like robot invasion. What are some side things that you could have with a tank top casserole? Um, there's all kinds of things you can do, um, you, but you have basically everything that you'll need. You have your meat and potatoes, <laughs> so I guess if you want to have some fruit or something, you could have that with it. Um, one thing, like since we don't have like a bunch of actual like other vegetables in there, you could have a, another vegetable, corn or um, steamed broccoli is a good one. Some people really like to do that, so but that's. You can just have it just by itself if you want, but uh, some things to add on the side, the, the steamed broccoli. That's one that I don't exactly have right now, so I can't show you. But, I think I will look and see what we have down here. What are you looking for? I don't know. No, nothing down there right now. Mixed veggies. Made um, hamburger soup the other day, so I used all the mixed veggies. That turned out pretty good. I'll do a video on that stuff too. Um, my mom makes a pretty mean hamburger soup. So. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? Good deal. 20 more minutes, guys. Perfect. Are you going to talk for 20 minutes? Yeah, I can talk for 20 minutes. Well, I know you can, but should you? I don't know. Yeah. We can't just sit here and, like, stare. I mean, can I could. Like, pause it? I don't know. I'm just going to let it go. Oh, People my gosh, can... James. No one <laughs> wants to hear you talk for 20 minutes. No one wants to hear you talk for 20 I'm, minutes. I'm being serious. Okay, yeah, no. Maybe I can do something. Maybe I can juggle? Yeah, I got these three <laughs> got these three uh oranges conveniently sitting nearby. I can juggle. Oh <laughs> Hang on, I can do it a little bit better. You woke up the baby. I did not wake her up. You did with all your <laughs> Want me to close the door? Yes. I thought you'd be hot. You say you're always hot. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in just a little bit.